Good day, tennis fans, and welcome back to Tennis Now's Wimbledon coverage. I'm Ted Lepak, and this is your Wimbledon update. In a rematch of last year's semifinal, Maria Sharapova and Sabine Lizicki went head to head, but this time the result was very different for the women's world number one, as she fell in straight sets to Lizicki, 6 4 6 3, in what we're calling the upset of the day. Lizicki will face Angelique Kerber in the next round after Kerber eliminated Kim Kleisters from her last Wimbledon. Victoria Azarenka and Agnieszka Radwanska advanced today with straight sets wins, while Petra Kvitova and Serena Williams grinded through their matches to set up a clash with each other in the next round. Roger Federer dropped a set in his match against Xavier Melise, but that was hardly a stumble for Federer as he sealed yet another win and continued to dig deeper into the draw. Meanwhile, the world number one Novak Djokovic knocked out his fellow Serbian, Viktor Troitsky, in a straight sets win to take another step closer to his highly anticipated match with Roger Federer. Rain delays have once again postponed several matches, including Andy Murray vs. Marin Cilic, David Ferrer vs. Juan Martin Del Potro. The worst nightmare of Wimbledon Pigeons population has returned. Rufus the Hawk was back on patrol today, four days after being stolen from a car parked near the club. Rufus was reunited with his owner and trainer after being found in his cage on Wimbledon Common and handed to the uh, local uh, animal shelter authorities. Rufus was ready for his duty this morning and resumed his early morning air raids over the club to keep the cowering local po pigeon population in its place. Rufus is the latest in a line of hawks which patrol Wimbledon during the fortnight, a practice which began back in 1999. Players are demanding clarification on the All England's deployment of the retractable roof over center court. On Thursday, before Rafael Nadal's dramatic exit to Lucas Roussel, the roof was closed after the end of the fourth set to ensure a finish, which Nadal claims threw off his game and his momentum as he headed into his final set. Then on Friday, the roof was closed all day due to a 70% chance of rain that didn't materialize. Richard Lewis, the All England Club's newly appointed chief executive, revealed the atmosphere had been particularly tense in the referee's office over the past few days, with so many elements needing to be taken into consideration. The All England's club has a safety certificate that could be revoked if the articles are not strictly followed, including the abandonment of play at 11 p.m. Be sure to take a peek at our Wimbledon preview edition, featuring the still hopeful Roger Federer, with breakdowns and predictions of the draws, interviews with the players, and much more. Remember to check us out at TennisNow.com, and be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for up-to-the-minute updates for Wimbledon. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see when we post new content. We'll see you here tomorrow, here on Tennis Now.